importantly, sustaining a fight for this team. When you've been able to kind of push into the fourth quarter, what does it mean to finally get one? Well, that means a lot, you know, especially on this day, you know, senior day. It was just a, a real emotional one for me, really, you know, just to be the last one in the wish, woodshed. Just to get that win, it was a great feeling, definitely. Did you know you had the touchdown catch and when it was being reviewed, what was going through your mind? Oh, yeah, I, I knew I had the touchdown catch. You know, I was pretty confident in that one, so I was just glad, you know, they confirmed it. Did they interfere with you two on that? Looked like they might have grabbed yeah, you. Yeah, he was grabbing me a little <laughs> bit, but, you know, I just had to make that play for my team, for sure. Can you walk me through that play, just from your perspective, what, what you saw and how you were able to do that celebration now? Yeah, for sure. Uh, pretty much, you know, the corners uh, all day today, they kind of was playing pretty aggressive and kind of our short routes. So we kind of, you know, picked them apart and found out that we can, you know, make a double move and kind of catch the ball. So that's pretty much what I did and I made the play. So you know, it's really oh, it was great. Great throw. You know, we definitely executed on that play, all 11 of us. So it was fun. So take your Oh, yeah, he was rolling over the top, so he kind of say I'm fitted in there, so it was definitely great. So you've got a year of overtime left here, right? Yes, sir. But you think this is probably your final game? Uh, I'm not sure yet. I'm not just sure. curious. Yeah, so. How about you guys, too, just for what Harlan's been through trying to keep everything together? How satisfying is it getting a guy like that a win? Oh, it's great. You know, just after the game, seeing him smile and being with his family and stuff, like, that's moments we live for. So I'm glad he had that moment and we had our moments. So it was definitely fun. About a lot of being in the room with you all yeah. he gets to come out and throw that his old team, oh, right. throw that pass, part of that play. Right. Take me through that. Oh, it was great. You know, he had confidence in me and I had confidence in him to put it out there. So I'm just glad we got the win for him, really. You know, that was his old team. So it was definitely great to see him out there smiling and stuff and just having fun. Who are you most happy to have a senior day with? All the guys you've been through, all the scrappers, you've been through everything. Who's the one guy you said, man, I'm sure he got a victory last year? Yeah, I feel like uh, my guy, Nick Samak, you know, He's definitely been through, been here through the ups and downs, and just to get that win for him was definitely was it was big for us. How did that play develop? What do you remember about that? Yeah, I mean it's a quarterback run designed and the running back's leading, so you know I'm trusting him that he's gonna make a great block, which he does like always. Um, you know, and our line held up really well, so I uh, just was able to squeeze the gap and get the first. Do you feel like you're a better quarterback now than you were a month, month and a half ago, and in, in what ways? Yeah, no doubt. I mean, in every way, you know, just processing the play, um, taking what the defense gives me, not trying to force balls and windows, uh, you know, just understanding the offense better every day, just coming to work. So, yeah, I do feel like I'm a lot better. The, uh, the hit you take there, because you're trying to bring that in, give you a sense of what receivers deal with when, the, when you don't lead them correctly or anything like that? Yeah, no doubt. I mean, I didn't expect it to be like that. Uh, when the ball was coming, I was trying to catch it and it got smacked. I can't even really remember what happened. It was all a blur. But, yeah, definitely got rocked. Yeah, um, for you, obviously, this is, this is four games now. Have you given thought to what you, what you want to do moving forward, whether you want to continue to play this season or, or preserve the year? Yeah, I'm definitely giving a thought. I mean, I haven't made any decisions yet. You know, I just got to go home and talk to my parents and my family, uh, Coach Barnett and Johnson, and figure everything out. So we'll see what happens. Is it a tough decision to kind of be torn a couple different ways on that? Yeah, yeah, in a sense. I mean, you know, you just got to do his best for you and the team. So. Uh, you know, just having those conversations and figuring out what the best path is. He, to deliver that pass and, and to have, you know, you, and again, you got me, you guys had obviously one in six weeks, and to, to have that happen, what, what's what's the vibe? What's the emotion? Man, it just felt like, you know, something got lifted off our shoulders. Uh, getting that win was so big just for the whole team, just being able, being able to play out the rest of the season, you know, being able to do that, do that for the seniors on senior night, last game in the woodshed, so uh, it was pretty special. What was that week like, and what did you feel like to have it all? Um, you know, it wasn't too difficult for me. I, I can't speak on everybody else, but, you know, I was just trying to come to practice and uh, get better. So the game outcome obviously plays a little bit of a role, but in the end, I'm just trying to get better every day. Uh, but, you know, it, it feels like the team's obviously way happier, you know, and ready to come back to work the next one. For you, um, throwing what eventually is going to be a touchdown. You know, what, what does that mean? What do you feel like? I know you probably asked this already, but what's next? Um, yeah, I mean, throwing that touchdown, you know, it's incredible. 
but I'm not going to sit here and say I won the game. You know, the team put me in an incredible situation with the defense backing them up. You know, the punt, punt return team getting the ball right there. And then, uh, obviously, on my, on my run for the third down conversion, you know, that wasn't me. That was the O-line and the running back setting that up. So, um, you know, just everybody making plays for me and setting the team up for success. Just offensive team, that was you two guys. You know, you guys on the shoulder pads, slapping them in the helmets. What was said in that moment? You know, it was just, I mean, by any means possible, it was just one down. I mean, no matter what you got to do, do it. I mean, we need it. So, everyone that can contribute, you know, just hype them up. You know, offense, defense, special teams, how to go. Do everything you can to get this tough. You know how to finish. What was it like? Yeah, it doesn't boost our confidence for sure. It's like a scene when we come together. It was tough, but I mean, you, you watch the film and you see that we have a talented team. We have good coaches. We, get, we were in position for most of those games to you know, have a chance to win there at the end. And so it's, it's just like we have to... Like how we were hyping people up towards the end there. Like we gotta get this done, you know, we gotta finish. That's something we haven't done in those six weeks and that they came back to fight for those six games. But you know, getting the finish this week, like I said, it brings life into a team and you know, gets us some momentum going forward here. So when you build the twenty to ten lead, it looks like you're in good shape and then they get the long quarterback run up the middle and score. Yeah. And then they get the ball back. What do you guys do on the sidelines? What's going through your mind? I mean, we're just just hyping up the defense. Yeah. Just hyping them up. Yeah, yeah, that's I mean, all you can do. And you got to control what you can control. You know, when the defense is out there, they're doing their thing. We're out there, we're doing our thing. And you can't focus too much on what somebody else is doing. You got to focus on, you know, we're a unit, five guys at a time. So we're getting each other right. You know, focus on our job. What we can do to help the team. Because, you know, complaining or getting upset when another team, it's football. Adversity's going to hit. That, that's not going to help you at all. What you, how you can help yourself is, you know, come up with a game plan. Okay, how are we going to do our job? You know, to help them out. What are you saying on that last pass when the ball is getting bounded around down there? Oh. <laughs> when you see a drop, you got to give out an amen. Yeah. Thank God. That was pretty cool. <laughs> that was a pretty cool feel. I mean, it was electric. Yeah. I mean, oh, you see all zeros and you got to win. <laughs> just just to finish the, the question I had asked earlier about that six weeks. What, you know, just what was that like going through that? Just yeah. Every week having, I guess, get yourself back up. Yeah, like, I mean, with up. everything that's going on, you know. All the adversity we've been through this year has been tough, but like, you know, JD and I both say we're Spartan dogs for life, so it's, you know, we're in this, you know, whoever's our team in the moment, like, we're in this for life, and we're doing this stuff together, so all, through all the ups and downs, you just got to keep fighting. Like, I feel like we've never lost our fight, and we show that today. Why is that? Why, why, I mean, obviously you've had some guys leave and stuff, but the guys that stayed in that locker room, we want to win. Together and, and you we love this hungry. sport as much as we do, and when you have a brotherhood that we have, I mean, it's not hard to fight for each other. No matter what we're going through, adversity strikes, and we're going to fight regardless. Yeah, and it's not like nobody's moping around the facility. We're still getting better every day, bringing the energy. We love this stuff. We're hungry to win. That's what we're gonna do. This guy got a question over here. I was gonna say, what's it like not having a special guy like Matt Allen around the locker? <laughs> I mean, not having, not having a guy like Matt Allen is tough. You know, he's <laughs> he's a generational talent. Absolutely. And the atmosphere of the team, the straight up leader, hard to. Yeah, I'll hard tell you something, man. Like that. Great guy, you know. Great football player, we're in the locker room, he's really fat. <laughs> <laughs> you guys don't have two brothers like he does, do you? That's true. Yes, I I mean, man, you guys are definitely passing along. I'm excited to watch you guys. <laughs> Heading for the future of the program. We just, just, we just hired him in the media. Yeah. So, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> so what's the lesson from this, and what do you tell the younger guys from this that they'll take forward. Man, remember this feeling, and this is your motivation to do this every single yeah. week. That's I mean, that's the biggest thing to say. There's like, there's no better feeling than celebrating a win. I mean, this it's you, you can't match it. Like, you don't get this in life. Like, like you don't experience what we experience after a win. Like, it's just it's yeah. it's amazing. You know, it's something that you want to feel every week, and it makes it like this feeling right here makes up for everything. No other.